Welcome guys, uh, this is Andy again and this is the second video of my Godot introduction series. In this part I will cover the um, scene tree system and the scene system in general of Godot, how to create uh, nodes in the scene, how to save the scene and what the scene system is in general. And um, we will start right away. Um, for this tutorial I've created just two simple graphics which we will use for now and create some sprite graphics and create our first little scene. So if you want to create a scene you first of all need to have um, a root node which is the very first node in the scene and in this uh, scene we will create node2d because uh, we will work at the moment mainly with the 2d part of Godot so spatial all the nodes uh, that are in the spatial um, or under the spatial are 3D nodes, which we won't use for now. We have uh, control nodes and node2D nodes. The control nodes are used for user interfaces and the node2D nodes are used for 2D stuff, sprites and all sorts uh, of stuff like that. So first of all we will create a node2D and this is the very first node of that scene. Let's uh, call this world for, exa for example and <coughs> all new nodes you will create will be children of that node so this is the first node and um, now we will create new nodes which will be placed uh, or stored into this node here we can get that node um, place it somewhere but this is just an empty node and we will keep it at the position 0, 0 so here are all the node properties displayed the position, the rotation scale, the Z depth value, um, visibility settings. We can create shader for nodes now. This is included in the um, current Godot development build, and but this is a topic for for later. So now let's create a very simple sprite node. Um, we can just select it from here, or we can type in sprite, and we will see that. Here's the sprite node. Um, so the sprite node needs to have a texture which we will load now. And therefore we will copy this to um, graphics into our tutorial folder. Let's create a new folder which is called textures and put them in there. So um, now let's navigate to that um, folder, textures, and let's select the blue square. So, you see we have our first node, which is displayed here. We can scale the node as you want, um, and you see that we can rotate the node and position it somewhere. So this is, you can um, on the one hand use these um, handles here, or with Q, V, E and R you can uh, switch between them uh, with the shortcuts. So this is Q, this is V and this is E for rotate. Uh, for not for rotate but E is for rotation. So but I will mainly use um, this one here and just uh, use uh, control for rotating and this way I can grab it and here I can scale it. So let's reset it for now. Uh, this is zero zero. Scale is one. The rotation is also zero. Scale is one and one. So okay. This is our first node. And now let's create a second uh, node. Let's call this for example player. And a new node which is called it's, it will also be a sprite node. This will be the ground, and therefore we will load the red square. So this is our ground node. Now let's make it a little bit larger, and this will be our first two um, interactive objects in our scene. So now we can press the play button and see what happens. Okay, nothing happens because we haven't seen a set a, a scene as the default scene, and we never have saved the scene. So 
let's save this and let's call it level 01.xml we can save it as xml files or as scene files this is up to the uh, user I always use xml now let's save it so if you press now it won't start because we haven't uh, set the scene as default scene but if we still want to play this scene we just have to press this button here and you see that it starts but we will set the scene as the default scene this is done in the project settings and there we just have to set the main scene here so select the scene close now we can press the play button or F5 and it will be played back okay but as you see nothing happens we just have two squares but um, how can we make them interact somehow or move somehow so this is where a few other nodes come in so uh, first of all we, we will create a rigid body node this is a physics node and this will let the um, object fall and uh, have physics so it has a gravity, it has a mass, friction and this is uh, located under the physics body 2D node so let's select this one here and now we want uh, to put this square into that node so we just have to select the player and say reparent and select the rigid body so now we see that this um, in this um, node here so let's reset the position of that sprite to 0, dot 0 and now we have this node here this will we will call now uh, player sprite and this will be the player so if we press now the button to start the engine you see that it, uh, it actually falls down but we have no collision so we have to set up um, a static body for the ground so we will go to the um, create node uh, panel here and create the static body so let's put this one in there and this will be the ground uh, first of all we will reparent this one put it in the static body 2D and call it ground and this, this will be the ground texture okay let's uh, set this to zero and reposition the parent because every coordinate system is re relative to the parent so if we um, set this to a certain position let's say 50.50 .50, it will be relative to the parent so if we, if we take the parent and this offset will still be there so we will set this to zero and set just the parent to a certain position okay if you press now the button you see we have a static body but still no collision um, why is that happening? so um, to get a collision we need to set up collision um, nodes and this is pretty simple we just select the um, rigid body object and select a collision shape here we can create a collision polygon this is which is painted by ourselves or a collision shape which is a predefined shape that's what we will, what we will use here so let's select this one and now let's say we want to create a rectangle shape so you see that um, this is how the rectangle shape is displayed um, never scale the rectangle shape directly so don't use the scale options for the rectangle because this will mess up the physics and you may have very weird behavior so always keep this at scale of zero uh, of one sorry if you want to s uh, to resize this rectangle you have to go into the resource itself this is uh, indicated by this little uh, arrow here press it and there you have a size and we will set this to 64 to oh, no 32 okay by 32 Oops. so this will be our collision shape for the player and now let's create a collision shape for the ground um, select the ground node 
create a collision shape let's select rectangle go to go into the resource you can also navigate uh, with these arrows back to the collision shape itself and here you can um, navigate to the uh, rectangle shape resource so let's set this uh, to 32 and this value let's say 500 uh, oops 600 uh, too much 400 okay this will fit for now okay so now let's start the engine with F5 and you see magic will happen we actually have a collision and the player will not fall through the ground okay so I think that's it for this uh, little series here uh, in the next series we will start to create um, some simple scripting mechanic and um, we will cover uh, the very basics of the Godot scripting language which is called GDScript and I hope you will follow me in the next video s the tutorial and if you like that video please share it with other people please subscribe me to see the next upcoming videos thanks and goodbye